Step into the gritty streets of 1973 with Kojak, a TV series that doesn't just follow a tough NYPD detective, but peels back the layers of crime in a no-nonsense style. With each episode, you're in for a roller coaster of emotions, the funny, the shocking, and the downright sad. Ever wondered about the lesser known facts or anecdotes behind the scenes? What makes this series tick beyond the crime solving? As you dive into the episodes, keep an eye out for these fascinating tidbits that might just change the way you see Kojak. Now, think back. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, keep those anecdotes coming. There are plenty more surprises and revelations waiting for you in the world of Kojak. Keep watching, keep reminiscing, and share your thoughts. Let's unravel the layers together. Detective Theo Kojak, portrayed by the late Telly Savalas, emerged as an iconic figure in the 1973 TV series. He embodied the quintessential tough cop, leaving an indelible mark on the crime genre. The first season had its ups and downs, with the latter episodes capturing the essence of the beloved Who Loves Ya Baby. The addition of humor, notably through Stavros and his quirky pet plant Shirley, brought a refreshing touch. A particular highlight was Lola Albright's guest appearance, reminiscent of her days on the classic Peter Gunn series. However, the season also left viewers wanting more, especially considering the abrupt disappearance of Kojak's intriguing girlfriend without any explanation. Despite this, the show boasted a solid cast, with Dan Fraser as Kojak's boss Frank and Kevin Dobson as the reliable assistant Crocker. Stavros, with his playful nicknames, added a touch of amusement. Noteworthy episodes included one featuring James Woods as a student in a crime class, foreshadowing his future roles as an intense, evil character. As the series progressed, characters like Crocker and Stavros gained more screen time, adding depth to the ensemble. In conclusion, the early episodes set the stage for Kojak's character and the dynamics within the precinct, laying the foundation for the series' development. Fans eagerly awaited the release of subsequent seasons on DVD to fully appreciate the evolution of this classic cop drama. Launched in 1973, the television series introduced Kevin Dobson to the small screen. The feature-length pilot episode, titled The Marcus Nelson Murders, provided a stark departure from the regular show. Filmed extensively around New York, the pilot embraced a gritty aesthetic. Notably, supporting characters in this episode were predominantly corrupt police officers and politicians. In the premiere episode, Telly Savalas makes his first appearance around the 7.15 mark. The show's structure differed from the typical format, setting the tone for subsequent episodes. Savala's portrayal of a tough detective became iconic. The series' unique approach and Dobson's introduction contributed to its lasting impact on television. The TV series Kojak, which debuted in 1973, faced cancellation after its fifth season due to declining ratings. Despite its initial popularity, the show struggled to maintain viewership. Before taking on the role in Kojak, Universal Television approached Abby Mann to develop a storyline based on the 1963 Wiley Hoffert murders, a horrific incident involving the rape and murder of two young professional women in Manhattan. This real-life tragedy served as the inspiration for a storyline that would unfold in the gritty urban landscape of the show. Kevin Dobson, cast as Detective Bobby Crocker, underwent a rigorous audition process, eventually securing the role. His portrayal added depth to the series, contributing to its overall impact. In the end, the unique approach of Kojak and Dobson's involvement couldn't prevent the show's cancellation, marking the conclusion of its run after the fifth season. The series, inspired by a harrowing real-life crime, had left an indelible mark on television during its time. Translated to Hungarian in the 1970s, the TV series found an intriguing twist. Laszlo and Key, the voice behind Kojak, bore a striking resemblance to Telly Savalas. This likeness led to a black and white Hungarian film where he portrayed the character, altering the origin to Hungary. In this unique rendition, his past as a clumsy cop in Hungary unfolded against the backdrop of the original series. Living in Universal City, California during filming, Telly Savalas maintained a routine. Regularly, he traveled to his family's abode every weekend and breaks emphasizing the importance of family amidst the series' demands. Contrary to Theo Kojak's Greek heritage in the series, the name Kojak has Polish roots, 
This adjustment was made to align with Telly Savala's actual Greek heritage, showcasing the flexibility of character details in television production. These behind-the-scenes aspects add layers to the legacy of the series, illustrating the global influence and personal sacrifices made during its creation. Captain Frank McNeil holds the record for the longest tenure in the squad. Interestingly, in the pilot movie, The Marcus Nelson Murders, Insp Frank McNeil was portrayed by Lloyd Goh. However, when the series premiered, the role transitioned to Dan Fraser. The show made its debut on Wednesday, October 24, 1973, airing on CBS at 10,000 p.m. EST, 9,000 p.m. PST. This scheduling adjustment displaced the ongoing crime drama canon from its original time slot. Frank McNeil and the casting shift in the character's portrayal. Additionally, the specific premiere date and time slot change underscore the show's impact on the television landscape. Detective Bobby Crocker's roots in Jackson Heights, Queens aligned with actor Kevin Dobson's real-life origins. The gritty portrayal of New York's crime scene unfolded, with Dobson bringing depth to the character. The show's star, Telly Savalas, kicked off at 51, taking on the iconic role. In the precinct, he, known for his lollipops, occasionally switched it up with bubblegum. This seemingly trivial detail added a touch of realism to the character. Beyond crime-solving, the show delved into personal connections, reflecting the actor's routine. Despite the demanding series, he prioritized family, regularly traveling to his family's abode in California during breaks. Transitioning from the real-life Wiley Hoffert murders, the series faced cancellation after the fifth season due to dwindling ratings. Despite its struggles, the show left a lasting mark on television. The Hungarian adaptation added an intriguing twist featuring Laszlo in key resembling Savalas. This localized version showcased the series' global influence. Captain Frank McNeil's character underwent a shift from Lloyd Go in the pilot to Dan Fraser in the series. Premiering on October 24, 1973, it displaced another crime drama in its time slot, emphasizing its impact on the TV landscape. The series, rooted in real-life crime, thrived on its global adaptation and strategic scheduling. Telly Savalas, at 51, embarked on the TV series, bringing a unique touch to his portrayal of a tough detective. In the premiere episode, notable appearances by Harvey Cadle and David Provel occurred just 10 days after their roles in Mean Streets. Throughout the series, Savalas, attempting to quit smoking, was often seen both sucking on a lollipop and smoking. Kojak's character admitted to the habit, emphasizing it as a daily routine, excluding Sundays. The dual habits of lollipop and smoking, reflecting real-life efforts to quit, became defining aspects of the character's image. In its five-year run, the TV series featured guest stars renowned for comedic roles in the 1960s, taking on intense, gritty characters. Notably, Tina Louise portrayed a harrowing image as a strung-out heroin addict in season one. Other familiar faces, such as Yvonne Craig, Julie Gregg, and Michael Margata, embraced starkly contrasting roles embodying murderers, addicts, and individuals with challenging pasts. In a unique departure from typical character norms, Telly Savalas stood out as the sole actor in the series using two catchphrases, Who Loves Ya Baby and Coochie Coo. This distinctive feature added a layer of individuality to his portrayal, breaking away from the usual conventions of TV characters. The final episode featured a significant guest appearance by Telly Savalas' close friend, Danny Thomas. Thomas took on the role of an assistant chief of police, marking a memorable collaboration between the two actors in the concluding moments of the series. 